What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 10 Minute Clinic, the show where I talk about whatever the fuck I want. It's unfiltered and unscripted. On today's episode, I have a new patient with us today. Her name is Goose. Say hi, Goose. Hey, everybody. Um, today, Goose has come prepared with a memory topic thing that she wants to talk about. So, why don't you tell us what we got going on today? Alright, so I want to talk to you guys about someone who I'd like to call Special K. Ooh, that's T. Like the cereal? Just like the cereal. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm following. Alright. So, this, this girl, she, she played an important role in uh, my life. And... <laughs> A very weird part of my life. It was a weird time for all of us, honestly. We were struggling and buggling and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was during that same time that um, that whole New Year's Eve story happened. It was a little bit before. Yeah, like a month or two, I think. Um, yeah, about, uh, I would say about so. Yeah. So, um, there was one time, she, she was a wild... She was a wild girl, and she definitely had her issues. Uh huh. We all did, but it's okay. Yeah, we all we all do. Um, but sometimes some issues are harder to overlook. Uh, they were very extreme. She was not for the uh, faint of heart. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 so one time she just showed up at my place. Mm-hmm. Very late at night. Yes. Very late. We were late. all hanging out in my closet. The so, doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> that that um, we had put in. Yes. That thing was it, loud as shit, honestly. It, really was. it was very alarming. It did yeah, its no, job. We were just hanging out in the closet. As and, you do. And the doorbell rang. And we were <laughs> Yeah. And so we all go. Wasn't it wasn't it like one thirty in the morning or like almost two in the morning or some shit like that? I just know I just know I was late. Yeah. And so she's standing at the doorway, special guy. Yeah. She's like, I need to come in. The voices <laughs> are telling me to kill myself. Oh. And I'm like, what? And we're all like, we're all like peeping around the corner like, what the fuck is happening? And I, I we all have our things that we go through. Different people go through yeah. different things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to judge one for having to go through something like that. That's right. hard. Right, For sure. So, me being the kind person I am, I'm like, okay, come in. You're going through some stuff right now. Let's just kind of calm down in yeah. a safe environment. Because yeah. that's what I wanted my place to be. It's safe. Right. So she comes in, and I'm like, make yourself at home, sleep on the couch, get some rest, calm down. We'll talk about it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so we go back to our closet. You know, we just go, we go back and start eating some salad. Oh yeah. Eating copious amounts of salad. That's all we did back in the day. We were so healthy. <laughs> uh, skinny so legends healthy. we were. <laughs> so we're in there eating our salad. <laughs> when we start hearing noises. It was kind of creepy at first, honestly. Like we were kind of scared at it for a little bit. Oh yeah. No. It was like tripping us out. Around. Yeah. And I'm just like, what is going on? So we all <laughs> <laughs> we file out of the closet like little ducklings in a row. Yeah. And we are crawling. Why were we crawling? The door was closed. Why were we crawling? Ate too much salad. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. 
So we open the door <laughs> and we poke our heads out. You know, like in the cartoons where they all poke their heads up like a totem pole up the doorway? Yeah. That's what we were doing. Mm hmm. <laughs> and you hear us scurrying and, and laughing. Yeah, she's laughing, and then we closed the door, and we're like, what the fuck is she doing? And then the pot started banging again. Yeah, yeah, and after we closed the door, she scurried back, and she started banging the pots again. And we were like, what in the world is going on? Yeah. So, eventually we're just like, it's fine, everything's going to be fine. Um, but, like, random noises kept happening, and we're like, okay, this is getting weird. This is getting really weird. Mm -hmm. And I open the door again. And she's out there, feet open on her phone. <laughs> she's literally laying down, holding the phone up to her face. She sounded like fucking Mr. Krabs. <laughs> she really did. She really did. It, it was nice. Not so. Out of here. It, it got to a point where I felt like I had to get out of my own house. Yes. Didn't we go over to uh, Baloney's house? No, we did. And we were <laughs> we like, did. what we the convened. fuck do we do? So we convened. Yeah, exactly. We, we convened. And we, we figured out. I, I decided that the best course of action was to get her back to a room. Safely. Yes. So I I walk up to Special K and I'm like, look, you're always welcome in my place. Mm -hmm. But right now, this is a little much for me. Yes. And I want to make sure you get home safely. Uh huh. So I get her in the car and like the whole time she's telling me she wants to jump off a bridge and I'm like, this is so much. <laughs> And I'm contemplating whether to take her to her house or to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I eventually, I took her to her place. And I was like, are you going to be okay? And right. she told me yes. And so I took her word on it. And she ended up being fine. Um, but turns out, my roommate at the oh. time. Oh my god. All them cheese cheese. I'd like to let you know that we are sitting at eight minutes. If we can come to a part two, if we need to, just letting you know. <laughs> well, I think I can. I think I can wrap it up. She eventually confronted me uh -huh. months later that she was mad at me, saying that Special K was her guest as well, and for sending her home, I was sending her guest home. Right, but she didn't come over for her. No, exactly. She came over for. And I don't even remember my roommate at the time actually even talking to Special K at this, like, one time. Right, the only time that they had been together is when we were playing that one game in her room. Exactly. Like, I just... And I'm sure they, they interacted in school and whatnot. Right. But at this time, I'm pretty sure my roommate was just in her bed asleep because it was so late. Yeah, probably. And she was my guest, and I decided the best thing for her was to go home where she would be safe and get some rest and try to work through whatever she was going through. Yeah, it was honestly a lot. Like, everybody was, was going through a lot, and that was just the icing on top. It was just too much. Yeah, no, and sometimes you have to... Yeah, you have to take, be able to take a step back. Yeah, you have to be able to focus on what is important for you. Right. Yeah. That's like what I've been saying in like every episode. I've just been focusing on myself. If you don't like that, fuck what you think. Like this, I'm doing my thing, and that's all I can do. You know. Exactly. So. You know. I I just really think everyone would be a lot happier if they just focused on yourself. Yes. I I think that is one of the best things that you can do in this world, in this life, for yourself. Yeah, like, everyone else's opinion is what makes you feel so shitty about yourself 99% of the time. Oh, yeah. So, with that being said, 
the doctor's out. Take that advice as you want, and I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow.